What's this? This looks like a honeycomb with little bees on it. Oh, we've got a really angry owl down here. He does not look happy at all. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode with Treasure Hunting Chicks. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Tammy, and I absolutely love going thrifting. I look for vintage items, uh, mid-century modern, retro, anything unique that I can flip in the Macari store. So thank you all for joining again. Thank you to all my subscribers and my newest subscribers. We actually have our newest one all the way from Australia. So thank you so much for joining. Um, if you like what you see and you're new to the channel, please give a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and if you all are so inclined, share the video with your family and friends. We are still trying to reach our second goal of 500 subscribers, and we are more than halfway there. So any help from you guys, you new, uh, new viewers that are watching this video, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you all for the comments that you've been sending. Um, I've learned a lot from them. Um, I just enjoy doing this with you guys. It's a lot of fun. So... Today, we are at one of our local Goodwills. It's been about a week since we went thrifting, so it's time to get our thrift on, and I'm excited about that. I'm also excited it has not reached 100 degrees yet, so that's nice. It is 96 on its way to 105, but we're going to enjoy the little bit of cooler temperatures right now. We're going to get inside. We're going to see what they have restocked those shelves with, and let's just get in there and let's get it done. See you there. All right, everybody, we're in, and we're over by all the candles. It looks like there's a lot of these down here, these things. Um, don't see any glassy baby. This is kind of pretty. It doesn't have any mark or anything on it. $3.99, but it, I don't know if you can see the chipping at the top and there mine's broken it's broken let's see if there's anything here uh, oh we got a bunch of science projects well, that one just got leaves and stuff in it it doesn't have the vegetables like the other ones I remember when those were really popular. Was it back in the 90s, I think? This little New Jersey diner cow is cute. Cow parade, new with tag. Oh, he's missing his horn. That's a bummer. He was cute. What's this? This looks like a honeycomb with little bees on it. It's unfortunate that it's clear. We want $5.99, but I think we're going to put it in the cart and look it up because it is really heavy glass, and it is cute, so we'll take a look at that. Let's see if we can find some goodies today. This is pretty. Looks like it's got some age. It just says hand-painted. It's $5.99. I just don't think you could really get much more for it than that, though. Maybe about ten to twelve dollars. So for those reasons, we're gonna leave it. Oh, we've got a really angry owl down here. He does not look happy at all. Five ninety-nine. Bags and bags of old, like perfume bottles, but none of them have their lid. I was hoping the shelves were going to be really loaded up. Now we got a Benihana, $7.99. That's a cute little pot. $1.99. That is cute. Pretty little vase. 
$4.99, but I don't think you can get much more for that. And it looks like that might be it on this. In this aisle for little tchotchkes and nicky nacky things. So I think we'll swing around the corner. It looks like on the other side is uh, some Christmas stuff and then the metals. So we'll swing around there. Okay, that aisle was busy, so we scooched over to the mugs and all the glasses. And hopefully we'll get lucky and find something here. I put the honeycomb glass candy dish back. It goes for about $15 online, so for $6 that doesn't make a lot of sense. And there was quite a few listed. So we put that back. I like the sunflowers on these. Those are cute, 99 cents. They're Gibson. Not seeing any anthropology. That looks like a homemade pot. Uh, what are these? No markings on those. Somebody's day at the beach. That's really thin glass for Starbucks. Okay, not seeing anything in the mugs, kids. So we got the shot glasses, regular glasses. All kinds of clear glass. Tons and tons of clear glass. What is this down here? Different. 99 cents, it's a wine glass. Not, not sure how I feel about it. And it's really lightweight. These are pretty. Oh, they're $6 a piece, red tag, so there's no discount on these. More clear glass. Not really seeing anything special or outstanding. I always got to make sure to look on the bottom shelf and I got to look up. I forget about that stuff sometimes. I'm just not seeing anything for us here. Oh, it's so frustrating. Sometimes you can hit the jackpot and other times you don't find anything. Okay, the Christmas aisle has cleared out so We'll take a quick look. Like I said, don't really need anything, but if we found something special, I would definitely pick it up. I've been listing um, Department 56 Christmas items in the Macari store. My husband found a whole bunch of different pieces at an estate sale, so they are, have been listed if you guys want to take a look. There's some Unique items there for different villages, like the Snow Village and whatnot. No price, so they won't sell it to you. And somebody took the price off. It's partially there. All right. Oh. Well, they're cute. $5.99, Disney Direct. Looks like it's missing a little lid or something right there. These guys have been here forever and they're still $12.99 red tag. That's a shame because somebody probably would have bought those if they would have been priced a little lower and now they'll probably end up on dollar days or in the bins. Or broken, unfortunately. She's got a sweet face. $4.99. She's very lightweight though. That's just plastic. Does anybody need a lint roller? Alright, we're gonna swing around. Behind us is the metals. These shelves are looking pretty darn sparse. I 
unfortunately. What is this up here? It's just a tray. Oh, you guys, I hope this doesn't mean that we're not going to find anything today. That would be devastating. But that's how some days go. The life and times of a reseller. I looked for some garage sales today, but there aren't any in my area. Now, I think here's the bases. And things. Not seeing anything special. No special glass. No special pottery. Well, shucks. Son of a gun. That's heavy. Hmm. I don't for that. $3.99. Just a little decorative cross, it looks like. All right, we're going to swing around the woods. They have got all these carts put out, but there is absolutely nothing for us in them. I think they're getting ready to load the shelves up because tomorrow is uh, the last Saturday of the month, and it's 50% off day. Okay, we're back in the clear glass. But we've already looked at that, so we're going to swing around to the woods and see if there's something we can find cute in here. Just a little ornament. No price. We don't have a lot in our wood sections here in Vegas. I don't know why. It says, made in Japan. $7.99. It's kind of cool. I think I'm going to put it in the cart and we're going to look it up. Just to see if it has any kind of value. And there's one of those basket things. And let's see. Come on. Something jumped. Family. It all starts and ends with family. Oh, hold on just a second. Is this a vintage? Oh, this looks like it is a vintage one. They want $4.99. It's got some yuckies on it. It's very dusty. Hmm. We are going to put that in the cart. That would be a good find. I got to inspect it a little bit further just to make sure of the condition. But I think that may be a for sure first pickup today. Okay, kids, now we were over in the plates. And there's a George Foreman, and I don't think that belongs here. Somebody must have changed their mind. Um, plates are kind of sparse too. These. These are pretty. Oh, somebody actually made that. That is pretty though. There's another one. This looks like an older one. Made in USA. $3.99. There's only one of them. And there's the collector's plates, but you don't really get into those. They're so flooded on the markets that they just don't do well at all so far not really seeing anything special in the plates um i did decide that we're going to get the jewelry box and we're going to get the filigree gold vintage regency um tissue box holder not a ton of value but you can get anywhere from like 15 to 18 for that and probably 30 for the jewelry box so at least we found a couple things. Oh, I love these. 
$7.99 for a plate and a sauce. Those are very nice, but that, um, probably not going to work for us, so we're going to leave those on the shelves. They have quite a few of them, actually, so it could add up to be a whole ton of money. And I'm not sure we'd be able to get it back. So nothing really going on in the plates. So we're going to swing over to the potpourri of Kitchen E. A lot of cake plates down there. Some glass butter dishes. Some Pyrex. Hmm, even this one is kind of kind of sparse. Oh, this looks like the Martha and Ben Franklin. $2.99. I didn't see another one over in the glasses. This is actually in the wrong spot. Mm, these could go... I think a pair could do pretty good. Maybe about $25 to $30. But I'm not sure about a single tin. So for those reasons, we're going to leave that on the shelf. Here's a tin canister set. I don't think it's old though. Made in India, but there's nothing really special about those. And you got a big old oven dish down there. That brown one with the car in it looks like a Rachel Ray. And let's see. Well, unfortunately not really finding anything on these shelves either. I don't think this is old. I think just the color kind of gives that idea that it might be. Because there was a lot of amber gold glass that's vintage. Okay. That was glued on. Well, bummer. Nothing in the potpourri of kitchen -y, kids. Except for a broken dragon. He's very chipped up. Very, very chipped up. And he's in the wrong place. All right, well, I think that might be about it. We might do one more run through really quick in case uh, they put things out that I missed in the carts. I didn't really see anything in the carts, but it never hurts to take a second look. So I will see you in a few minutes. All right, guys, our total spent in there for those two items was $10.58. Um, remember, I'm a senior, so I get 20% off, which is nice. Um, on Wednesdays, seniors here in Vegas get 40% off, which is even nicer. Um, we will probably go again on this coming Wednesday. Today's Friday. And so we can get in on some of those deals. And I think we'll go to a couple different Goodwills. So it was fun having you guys along. I just wish that there would have been more on the shelves for us to choose from. And to put in the cart. To flip in the Macari store. But that's just how it goes. you got to take the good with the bad. It's always nice to get out and thrift and see what they have. And I really enjoy you guys coming along with me. If Again, if you're new to the channel, we're trying to reach our second goal of 500. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. Um, I'm going to head home now. And I think I'm going to start preparing for a staging video for you guys. Um, where I'll put some items together and give some ideas of how you could place them in your own home. Uh, things that, that you've seen me pick up that you like. So um, I'm going to get to working on that and hopefully I will have that out this week or this coming week. Um, other than that, be safe in your travels. Have fun at whatever you're doing. And until next time, peace out.